So this is my second piff pack. I've made a couple different changes and experiments with this version to try out some different kinds of features. So, first of all, one of the things I tried doing was a different type of spooling mechanism. Hannah may have tried this out already. Um, what I like about it is you can very easily uh, just extract some wire. Um, the downside is this kind of thing. If the spool is a little too small, um, then they kind of fall out. It works great for spools that are the correct size for this type of holster. Um, and you can even rewind it back in. It keeps your wires from spilling out and getting all messy. So that's pretty nice, but you can't accommodate different sizes as well with it. So that's a little bit tricky. Um, but so far it's still kind of working out all right. Um, another thing was, oh, I got my little logo. <laughs> I tried making a little like abstract digital naturalism logo with it didn't quite work out. Um, what else did I change and tweak around? Oh, this thing. So I tried, I wanted to have kind of like the sliding plastic drawers that you have in a normal laboratory. I wanted something like that for really quick visible access to small components without necessarily having to go into a box, pull out the box, open up the whole box at once, and then choose what you need. I saw these at a really cheap store called Daiso. And uh, what's nice is they have this lip inside here. Um, and each of the boxes have individual containers. Um, so if I, I don't have to open up one thing and then they all can potentially fall out. So like if I want some of these addressable LEDs, I can go in here. This little lip keeps them from falling out, which is nice. And then I can just pop it back up. Of course, it would be nice if they sold like two of them that faced upwards like this because then I get ones that face downwards and I tried even cutting them apart but they're way too well connected. So this side, you see, things can fall right out. Um, so that's something tricky. Maybe I can find a better container like that. Um, they sold single container things like this but they don't have that nice lip going on. So ideally I want many rows of this kind of container with the one kind of lip on it. Other than that, things pretty much stayed the same. I used a lot more magnets. Um, there's a cool hot dog on a skateboard. Probably the coolest patch ever, and it also sticks things to it. Um, uh, I made this pouch a little bit bigger than my previous one to accommodate different containers. And I just sewed one big uh, zipper bag for putting like a laptop, or any kind of thing in there. These, they call them L-shaped uh, reinforced zipper bags. It's hard to do with one hand. Um, open up really big and nice so I could sew it right on. And I could even sew a zipper directly through so I actually have external access to that pouch as well. One downside about this pack is I made it out of a vinyl fake leather material. I kind of like the funky look of the bright green and this kind of more naturalistic leather looking uh, kind of thing all going together. But it's a little bit, I'm worried it'll take gouges and like scuffs and uh, eventually tear really easily. So I'm a little bit worried about this pack. Oh, and the final change that I made was in the back, Instead of the rope, I just sewed a big squishy pocket out of this like this material that seems like it's made for like sweating and it's kind of squishy, it's a mesh. Um, I don't know what else it's really used for other than like backpack straps and stuff. But I sewed a big pocket in there that I can then slide. Uh, I have like a big piece of acoustic foam that I shoved in there and I took it out for some reason. Aha! So I just shoved one of these big pieces of foam up in there and it works really good for keeping this off my back and making it comfortable to walk around with. So those are the main changes to 
my second version of the Piff Pack. Uh, mostly I just wanted to get another one made to kind of cement this in my brain. Um, and I did most of this from memory this time, so that was nice. Um, I feel I'm about ready to start leading some workshops and get these done en masse with a bunch of people, so it should be fun.